So the idea here is, is a pretty simple, guys. There are two uh, basic types of enzymes, now that you know kind of what an enzyme looks like, how an enzyme does its job, and the fact that an enzyme makes reactions faster by, by lowering the activation energy of those reactions. Um, now we just need to discuss kind of two major categories of enzymes, okay? And there's a difference uh, in, in the types of reactions that they help, whether the reaction is anabolic or catabolic determines if the enzyme itself is an anabolic enzyme or a catabolic enzyme. Okay, so you can you can read um, the definitions here for yourselves. What an anabolic, what happens in an anabolic process, and what happens in a catabolic process. Okay, an enzyme is just the enzyme that's designed to make these processes happen even faster. So first, let's start with an anabolic process, and I always like to think of you know, being an athlete myself, uh, it's always a huge controversy in, in many different uh, athletic fields, the use of anabolic steroids. And an anabolic steroid is something that, for example, a baseball player would take and get in trouble for in order to make themselves larger, in order to increase their muscle mass. Okay? So in this case, you have small molecules that are being put together, assembled, into much larger molecules. So anabolic is a process of building. So an anabolic reaction is a reaction that is building large molecules and, on top of that, using energy in the process. Okay? So if we come down to uh, kind of this picture down here, we have enzymes that are considered anabolic enzymes, where our, our reactants or our starting products, our substrates are smaller and then when they go and they bind to the enzyme at the active site, instead of breaking them apart, the enzyme actually works to stick them together and make a much larger product, a larger molecule. Therefore, this is an example of an anabolic process and an anabolic enzyme. Okay. On the flip side, a catabolic process is just the exact opposite. It's taking large molecules and breaking them down into smaller molecules, and it's a process that is releasing energy. Okay. Now that process can be facilitated and, and uh, sped up by the use of a catabolic enzyme. So again, we have another type of enzyme here where we're starting with our reactants, our substrate is a much larger molecule and when it enters the enzyme and attaches to its active site the enzyme actually splits that substrate into two smaller molecules that are your products okay so therefore this is a catabolic process that is being helped and being um, uh, accelerated catalyzed by a catabolic enzyme When you look inside of a cell, which obviously there are hundreds of trillions of in us, we have both processes taking place all the time. Okay? When we bring food molecules, carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, into our bodies and into our cells for digestion, we are immediately on a catabolic process. Remember, catabolic meaning we're going to break those big molecules down into their smaller pieces. So here we go. Here's our large molecules, A, B, and C. And catabolically, we have used various enzymes to break them down into smaller components. They're monomers, you might remember from previous lessons. Okay? In the process, we have also released some energy that's now available for the cell to do work. And we'll talk about how our food gets broken down and releases energy in a different lesson later on in the year. Okay? Now notice we also have kind of this waste product of heat that's being released as well. And that's not as important as you uh, understanding that a catabolic process is taking these large molecules that we eat in our food and breaking them into their smaller monomers, their smaller pieces, and releasing energy. Okay? Then we can take that very same energy and we can insert that energy into an anabolic process using an anabolic enzyme. And we can take all of these small monomers, all these small pieces, and we can reassemble them together to make new macromolecules that our body now wants to use instead. So we start with big molecules that we break down into small molecules. Then we take those small molecules and we put them together to make big molecules, once again, that our body can actually use for something else. Okay? So we're taking the material, breaking it down, then rebuilding it into something that our cells and our overall body can use. It's a catabolic process when we're going from a big molecule to the smaller pieces and we're releasing energy. Then it's an anabolic process when we're using that energy in order to take these smaller pieces, stick them back together, and make bigger molecules once again. Okay? And both catabolic pathways and anabolic pathways 
have enzymes that accelerate those processes so that they can occur when we want them to and in a very timely and efficient manner.